Hello, I'm Trevor, and I'm a member of First Robotics Competition High School Team Area 5188 Classified Robotics. But before I was on FRC, I was a part of the first LEGO League Challenge team called Team Storm for eight years. I enjoyed every part of the program, from designing and building the robot to coding it to make it come to life on the playing field. My team also had great success with the innovative project, and I really enjoyed working with experts to discover ways we could make a positive impact on our community or across the globe. I'm excited that you and your team will have opportunities to discover ways that you and your team can make the world a better place as first game changers. I also enjoy opportunities to help new teams in whichever way I can. And as you learn more about the FIRST program and the FIRST core values, I'm sure you'll learn that that is exactly what we are all called to do, to help each other. That is why I've created this video, to help you and your team get started with a Spike Prime and Spike Prime expansion set, which should have all the tools you'll need for the first LEGO League replay season. So my plan is to walk you through these two kits as you unbox all the parts, and I will help you see how the various components can be used to create a competition robot. Let's get started. So the box itself is this nice hard shell plastic material, which makes it really great for storing everything away neatly. Inside, when we open it up, we'll first find these organization trays, which we can set to the side for now. And we'll start by taking a look at the Spike Prime brick itself. This is the brain of the entire system. It has this rechargeable battery that simply slots onto the side that can be charged with the included micro USB charging cable. And this is what everything will plug into, all your motors and sensors, and what you will load your programs onto. Next, we have these individual plastic bags that contain our motors, as well as our touch sensor, color sensor, and ultrasonic sensor. The motors included with the base set are one large motor and two medium motors. These are considerably smaller from the motors from the last generation, which is what makes Spike Prime so awesome. These are just really compact and a really great system. There will also be one more large motor included with the expansion set that we'll talk about later, but for now we'll get right into the sensors. This is the color sensor. It can be used for a variety of things, such as sensing the black lines on the field. Once again, there's a second one of these included with the expansion set that we'll get to in a minute. Next up is the ultrasonic sensor, which is used for sensing distance. This is something your team may or may not find helpful, but it is a really great tool to have for when you need it. Next up is the touch sensor, which will detect when this button is pressed. This is another thing that your team may or may not use, but again, a great tool to have. Next, we have the eight numbered bags, which hold the majority of the building materials for the set. What's really nice about the Spike Prime set is it comes with these organizer trays, so you can just pour each numbered bag into their corresponding slot in the organizer. Here's an overview of all the parts included. As you can see, there's a very large variety of pieces, including gears, pins, axles, lift arms, all sorts of different things that the students can use to complete missions in whichever way they would like. The set also includes these brand new Spike Prime wheels, which are really great because they're designed specifically to be used on the playing field because they have a hard rubber surface that gets great grip on the field. You also get this new caster piece that has a simple two-part construction and drags really nicely on the ground. Next, there is one unnumbered bag that contains some of the larger elements that can be poured in the main section of the bin, as well as a few loose pieces, including these new large base plate pieces, which are really cool. They're brand new to the Spike Prime, and I look forward to seeing what teams can do with them. That is everything included in the base set, and next we'll move on to the Spike Prime expansion set, which comes with a lot of extra parts to use for your robot, as well as some motors and sensors. This, however, does not come in the same hard shell box material. It's a cardboard box, so you'll just store these in the box of your regular Spike Prime set. When you open up the box, you find a whole bunch of unnumbered bags, so they don't get sorted in with the other pieces like the regular Spike Prime set. However, you can just dump them in the um, big bin section of the Spike Prime. However, the small bag of black pins, I do recommend storing with your other black pins just because they can be easy to lose track of. Some of the most notable pieces included with the kit are an extra large motor, which is really great for your drivetrain. I recommend using these for your drivetrain over the medium motors because they have a greater longevity. You also get an extra color sensor as well as a larger size of the wheels mentioned before with the exact same nice hard rubber material. You also get these really long and skinny axles that 
um, are really nice pieces. However, they might come slightly bent. That's normal. Just you you can unbend them by hand if necessary. As well as uh, you also get a extra one of those casters mentioned before and some uh, rubber bands in three different sizes. Do make sure if you use rubber bands on your robot, though, you use the official LEGO ones included in this kit. If you have any questions about your Spike Prime kit and the expansion set, be sure to reach out to LEGO Indication or send an email to First Senior Mentor Lori Langley. She can be reached at lllangley at firstinspires.org. Thanks, everyone.